like jazz. And I like rock and roll. But somebody 30 years ago, when the two of us didn't like what we were doing, asked us the right question at the right time. He said, if you had all the money in the world that you would ever need, which, by the way, we didn't, what would you want to do with your time so that at the end of the day you would feel so good about the way you spent it that you can't wait to get up the next day and continue doing that? So Dina said she'd like to do something creative and be an artist. And because I was in the entertainment business, I thought I wanted to be an actor. On a blind date, believe it or not. And, um, I don't know, sort of went out with Diana. Yeah, I went out with her. Went out with her once. It and just wasn't the right chemistry, but really nice lady. Suggested, you know, like, I have a girlfriend who I really think you'd get along well with. So he took my phone number, called me. We spoke on the phone for about an hour about everything, and I never heard from him again. <laughs> Six months later, he called. And don't ask me out this time. And we got together, and we've been together ever since. And this is like 36 years later. Yeah. A bar that was on South Beach in the very early 90s called the Island Club. Special bar. And when people came in, they came in, they turned into flamingos, which were very special birds that you could only find on South Beach at that time. They were just very outrageous people who loved to have fun. And then when they left the bar, they would just turn into normal people all over again. Something magical always happened to people. That's what made that bar so special. A guy came along, looked at our work, and he says, you know something? You should contact Jay Johnson from America's Folk Heritage Gallery. I really think he'd like your work. Turns out this guy was a folk art collector. We contacted Jay Johnson. He came over, he looked at our artwork, and he was very excited. He took some of our work into his gallery. And suddenly, here we are, we're gallery artists. We had absolutely no expectation. And this was very early on. You went on an acid trip. There were these four men who were sitting and drinking beer all afternoon. And by the time they got to their third 12-pack, they were pretty zonked. This lady happened to come out to the beach and wanted to get a suntan to burn out her, her bra line. So they hired this kid. They gave him five bucks to pour ice cold water on her and they bet what would happen next. And the bet was two to one she'd get upset. We started painting later on in life. We were untrained artists and we didn't belong to anything. We were also tired of living in New York. I grew up in New York. I went to school in New York. I worked in New York. I was really over in New York, and we wanted another scene. Now, we had traveled all over Europe. When we had first gotten married, we took a year trip, a year-long trip, just driving. We bought a car in front of the American Express office in Amsterdam for $300, and we drove it all over Europe. It did about 20,000 miles yeah. on it. And um, we just sort of know we wanted just like we wanted to move. Going back to Europe, which we loved, I mean, we really would have considered it, but it was far, and we wouldn't have been able to work, and it was kind of intimidating <laughs> to just go there to live and you know, just give up everything in America. So we said, okay, let's stick to the States. Let's find some place as close in terms of what we really loved about, well, we lived on the Costa del Sol, okay, in a little fishing village called Almanieta, and that's really what we wanted to go back to. We were, I don't know, just going through the travel section of the New York Times travel section on a Sunday, and there was an ad or a story about Sarasota. We said, you know something, that might be the place. We'll check it out and see. Maybe, you know, it's warm weather, it's Florida, it has an arts community, it might be ideal. I found the one thing that made me feel good about the way I spent my time. And for two or three years I painted and I learned that art is really a process. I stopped and smelled the flowers. Um, I did that shortly after we did the Growing Golder project. Uh, the Growing Golder project was what it feels like to grow older, where we worked with over 700 senior citizens 
asking them all, what does it feel like to grow older? And after we were completely finished, um, I realized the message was to the middle baby boomer generation. Um, the younger generation will obviously have to discover things on their own, but the baby boomer generation was old enough to start having difficulties. And the message that I got from working with so many senior citizens was stop now and, make, and smell the flowers. Um, make any course corrections that you need to while you're still able to if you're not happy with the way your life is. So that's what that's all about, that, that painting. Anyway, long story short, we took a plane trip to Miami um, with the intention of renting a car and going up to Sarasota. We spent the weekend on Miami Beach and never left. <laughs> And that's how we ended up here. Two months later, we were living We were here. living down here. It was as close to this fishing village, Almanyaca, as any place else. It had the Latin feeling. Um, most of the people, when we came down here in 1980, this was 1986, the end of 86. Um, it was all either Cuban, um, senior citizens. Mental patients. Mental health patients and criminals. And that was it. That's who lived on Miami <laughs> Beach, on South Beach at the time. However, there was a budding arts community on Lincoln Road. And the South Florida Arts Center had just opened. We spoke to the director, and she said that she could get grants, a grant, if we decided to come down here for out-of-state artists. That January, we had gone back up to New York after our vacation. We never made it to Sarasota. We stayed on the beach the entire time. And um, January, we get a call from the director saying that the studio space that we said was what we wanted in our fantasy um, was available on Lincoln Road, a storefront. A thousand, a thousand square, square feet. feet for $100 a month. And here it was, snowing in New York. The temperature was disgusting. I said, you know what? Let's do it. Why not? So we packed our bags, and we came down to South Beach. Within that one weekend, we got here on a Thursday. Friday, we signed a lease for our studio on Lincoln Road, sight unseen. We rented an apartment a block away, and um, we bought a car that Sunday. It's like a, an old like, jumper. And um, we've been here ever since. So, 22 years ago. Desperate by step along this march can be won, can be won. Many stones can form an arch, singly none, singly none. And by union what we will can be accomplished still, drops of water turn a mill.